Hey everybody, this is Mojo from uh, 3 and uh, MojoCaster.com. Um, the topic today is a little bit different from uh, what I've uh, done in the past. Um, today I decided to look at uh, how to keep it fun. And um, uh, you may have uh, captured that from previous uh, videos of mine if you've watched any of the others, that is. Um, I kind of try and keep this stuff fun. Um, I know I'm never going to be a professional guitar player. Uh, I know I'm never going to be one of those guys in the magazines. I, you know, I'm not even going to be the best guitar player at the local blues jam, um, and and that's all right. Um, it would be cool. Don't get me wrong, but the truth of the matter is, it's just not going to happen. So there's no need to worry about it. Uh, it doesn't mean that this whole thing can't be fun, though. And um, one thing that I strive to do is every time I pick up a guitar, uh, if it's not fun, then I put it down. It's extremely rare that it's not fun, but sometimes it's frustrating. Um, and uh, and if that's the case, then pay life's too short. Put it down. So my main goal is to keep this fun. And um, with that in mind, I've come up with a couple of tricks, and I figured maybe I should share those tricks with you guys and uh, um, see if I can help you have more fun, because more fun is good for you. All right, uh, gear today, uh, pretty similar to my usual setup, uh, the Crook Telecaster. In the back over there, I've got the uh, Carmen Gia amp uh, from Dr. Z, and on the floor we have a, a box of rocks from uh, ZVEX and a uh, uh, reverb pedal from um, um, Electro Harmonix, um, and that's about the only thing. Right now, the uh, ZVEX is actually off, so pretty uh, clear tone. All right, keeping things fun. The whole idea here is. Um, at least this is my personal experience, is that when I started playing the guitar, and still today, I found myself in a rut. Uh, very uh, very often I ended up playing the same things. One of the riffs that I always play every single time I pick up a guitar has got to be this. How, 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 how. Um, and soon after that, it's very rare that I don't play something along the lines of... we've all been there. Uh, so we have these patterns that we're stuck in. And one day I decided, you know, not that I don't love the uh, ZC Top riffs, because clearly I do, um, but I was thinking that maybe I should try and find out my own riffs around that, so that I can get away from playing the always the same riffs. And I ended up with something along these lines. As you can see, pretty much the same territory as these riffs, yet somewhat different. Uh, it's basically, um, um, I took uh, Lagrange, Tosh, and, uh, uh, and Sharp Dress Men, and somehow ended up with this riff. Um, so that was kind of a fun thing, you know, you find your own riff, you get away from patterns you've been stuck in for a while, and uh, you find something you can jam with, it's easy on the ear, hopefully, and, um, you know, probably challenge a little bit of your uh, inspiration and your technique at the same time. I actually learned uh, a lot from that simple riff, specifically doing things like these little liaison, these little links in between uh, different parts of the riff. Okay, so that's the kind of idea that I'm trying to uh, to discover here: how to keep this fun, how to keep these fresh. Uh, another way that I like to keep things fun and, and fresh is to try and take two different styles and meld them together. Uh, for example, when I uh, first met my wife, um, after our first date, I created this uh, little piece of music on a 72 Gibson Les Paul, uh, unplugged. It was in the middle of the night by the time I got home. And, uh, but I didn't feel like going to bed just quite yet, and so I picked up my guitar, and before you know it, I'm playing along. And uh, By the way, when my, fir my wife first met me, um, um, boy, I thought she was the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen, and still think so, 13 years later. Uh, she thought I was the biggest French arrogant prick she'd ever met, and lo and behold, we were both right. Um, anyway, this is the uh, the tune that I started writing.
last little part there kind of went away from more of a quote unquote classical approach a little bit more of something that I thought was a little bit Spanish or Latin sounded sounding and so the next uh, I decided to have this break and then the next part became this <laughs> to juxtapose two stylistically different pieces of music and try and make him work and the idea behind trying to make him work was to stay around the same patterns on the neck and the same set of uh, strings or set of notes and I'm not saying it's a masterpiece mind you I'm just saying that this kept it fun another example third example of how I try to keep things fun is to change tempos uh, it's not because a song was originally written in one tempo that you have to keep it there and to some people, that's going to be a bit sacrilegious to do that. The idea being, hey, you know what? The guy who wrote that song knows music better than you ever will. Who are you to change it? And that's a valid point, but I really don't care. So probably the most played piece of music ever, on a guitar anyway. <laughs> This is a no stairway to heaven zone, so I wouldn't know. But anyway, uh, everybody loves that song, whether they pretend to not like it or not. The truth of the matter is, we all wish we'd written it. If we're a guitar player and you don't like that song, there is something wrong with you. You're posing as a guitar player. You're not a real guitar player. Anyway, um, I always thought it would kind of be funny to mess with it, because once you play it, and you play it for a while, and it's like, eh, you know, and you can't get away with playing it anymore, specifically not in a guitar store. My understanding is that's against uh, guitar store etiquette. Um, so anyway, nobody said you can't, you know, kind of play around with it. You know, change the tempo around. Or keep it back to what it was. from existing riffs and make them your own. Uh, either juxtapose different style of music together and just kind of try and see how you can make it fit. Or take a piece of music you already know how to play but just change the tempo around, change the feel around. Um, all that can be used to keep things fun and fresh. If you have other uh, tricks that you use, I'd love to hear about them. Feel free to email. Uh, uh, it's always welcome. Mojo at 3 And uh, if you have any requests, feel free to do so as well. Thanks for watching. Bye.